Warning, exercise caution when working on audio gear. There is a risk of electric shock. A disclaimer? Really? That's kind of boring. Yes, it is. <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Frank. Welcome to Sundays on channel 33 RPM. We are in the workroom today, and that's because we are going to take a closer look at this Techniques amp I just recently bought. It has dirty pots. The pots, I'm pretty sure, are filthy because you go and turn the volume and it's you know scratchy and it goes from really quiet to really loud. Luckily, this is a super easy fix, so stick around for that because this tip could end up saving you big bucks down the road. But first, a quick shout out, shout out to a couple of viewers, Brad in Calgary and Doug in Newfoundland. These guys recently bought Channel 33 RPM t-shirts in the merch store. Guys, thank you, thank you for the support. Anyway, on to the show, check it out. Okay guys, I have the techniques, or techniques, depending on how you choose to pronounce it, uh, amp here on the workbench. It's a SU-V16. I also have the matching stereo tuner. Both of these are from the same garage sale. They were $5 each, or $10 for the pair. This has the common problem you see so often in uh, older receivers, and older amplifiers, sorry. We're gonna put the radio on here and you'll see exactly what's wrong. Uh, we've turned the uh, volume up. It goes up really abruptly. In the Cases. Hurts the ears, right? Do that one time. Ugly, ugly sound. Uh, so obviously this pot is dirty. Uh, it's oxidized. There's stuff going on. And I'm assuming we're going to have the same problem with the other pots here with the base, the treble, and likely the balance. It's a mess, but super easy to clean up. Let's open this up and check it out. Okay, I've powered this off. I've unplugged it. Just going to put the power on again just to make sure that there is no juice left in here. I've uh, pre-loosened, I've pre-unscrewed, I should say, all the screws on here. So we are just gonna give it an open. Whoa, super dusty inside. Let's take some canned air and get some of this dust out of here. It's a weird angle, um, just so you can see what I'm doing here. Here's some canned air. This is actually from Dollarama, 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 three bucks. Stuff's not expensive. But we will take, first of all, some canned air to clean up our working surface. It's kind of filthy over there. Whoa, it's really coming off there. Take another look. That, even just that that um, spray of um, air made a huge difference in here. Okay, to clean the pots, I'm gonna use this Deoxit D5. Deoxid D-Series sprays are a contact cleaner and according to the company, a rejuvenator. It's basically a deoxidizing solution that cleans, protects, lubricates, and improves conduct conductivity on all metal connectors and contacts. The key, and see if you can see this, the key when you open up your system is to have access to the back of the pots, kind of like right there if you can see it. And you kind of want to get the spray right inside the pot. I got three here, so we are going to give them a quick spray. <coughs> Pardon me, there's still dust in the air from that big clean we did. So here's the volume pot. Here's the Deoxid D5. I purchased this one at Long and McQuaid, which is, a, which is a chain of musical instrument stores here in Canada. Again, this is unplugged. There's no electricity left in here. I'm going to spray this in the back of, first of all, the volume pot. Then all you have to do is take this and take the uh, pot and just give it a few turns, really help that solution get inside there. It's probably enough, but I don't want to have to do this second time, so we'll give it another quick spray. There we go. We'll give it some turns, and then after this, I will do the same thing with the um, pots for the treble, the bass, and the balance. Okay, I've let some time pass. Uh, let's see what happens. I've reassembled it. I've put the uh, amplifier back together. And guys, I don't know what's gonna happen, but let's press power. Hear that? Remember all the crackling before? This is made out of, so. 
no longer. It seems we have fixed the volume pot. So we got the uh, balance left channels working right. This is completely smooth. The volume is completely smooth. Treble works fine. And the bass works just fine. Let me know what you thought of today's episode in the comments below. Have you picked up any more audio gear this, audio gear this summer? Have the garage sales been good to you? I'd love to know. Let us know in the comments below. Remember, if you enjoyed today's episode, leave a quick like. If you haven't subscribed yet, click that button. Otherwise, have a fantastic week. We'll see you all again next Sunday. Until then, keep on spinning.